As I said, I was on Bataan for approximately three weeks when uh, General King ordered the surrender of Bataan. Uh, I, uh, along with uh, my battalion that I was attached to, uh, was surrounded by the uh, Japanese soldiers. They took all our arms, naturally, and then uh, pushed us back out on the road near Marvelis. I was on the death march for uh, two days and three nights. And during that period of time, I saw hundreds of Filipinos and Americans shot, bayoneted, their heads cut off with swords by the officers for the slightest infraction because the, the weather was, it was so hot. We were in 110 to 120 degree weather. We had no water. We had no food. We had nothing. And if a man left the column to relieve himself, he got shot. If there was a puddle on the road and they saw that, even if it was muddy and no matter how it is, the men were so starved for water, so thirsty, and they ran over to get a drink from the muddy water, they got bayoneted or shot. On a 100-mile mar march, there were some 60,000 Filipinos. During the course of that march, 12,000 Filipinos were killed and 600-odd Americans killed. In figuring that out, statistically, that's approximately one soldier or one human being every 30 feet. And uh, that, uh, you know, when you look at it now, it's pretty ghastly and pretty cruel. Um, I knew I couldn't take this kind of—I wasn't going to last long myself. So uh, during a rainstorm, and there was a lot of lightning and thunder and a lot of noise, I had dove off the side of the road and into the jungle and worked my way into the deeply as I could into the jungle and get away, to get away from the column. It took me approximately uh, four days, I believe it is now, to work my way back to Maravellas. Uh, which is the closest that I could get to Corregidor. And I gathered up some wood and debris that was there, tied it together with anything I could find, and worked myself out into the bay and swam back to Corregidor. I would say that it took me a good 10 hours that I was in the water, uh, not knowing at the time, but found out later that... Uh, it was shark infested, uh, but uh, evidently I wasn't good, good enough to eat. And they weren't interested in me, thank goodness. Uh, but anyway, uh, when I got close to the shore on Corregidor, then the Marines started firing at me. Uh, this time I'm happy to say that evidently there was a bunch of lousy shots because they missed me. Anyway, I, when they finally recognized that I wasn't an infiltrator, uh, they, they come out and, and uh, got, pulled me into shore. And luckily, they, because I was pretty well gone by the time I got close there. There is a picture of me in the National Geographic magazine showing a bunch of uh, GIs out in front of the tunnel. And I happened to be in the front with my hands up. It was a propaganda film, a picture by the Japanese. And uh, I don't know how I managed to get there, but I